Greetings. Today I'll be demonstrating for you guys how to perform a resistance check on a ignition coil. Alright, so over here I have for you three ignition coils right, that we're going to check today. Right. So before we can perform a resistance check on an ignition coil, we need a, a special device to carry out that check or to measure the resistance value. So for that we're going to use a multimeter. A multimeter is basically a device that um, contains three meter in one unit. So this meter here, it can measure voltage, it can measure resistance. So the omega sign here or the horseshoe symbol here is the symbol for resistance. It can, can also measure amperage, which is denoted by the letter A here, right? So we're going to set our multimeter on, on the resistance setting because we're going to measure the, the resistance right, of the ignition coils. Right? So we're going to set our multimeter to the 200, um, the 200 ohms setting right here because we're going to measure the primary coil first. Right? So we need some resistance value right, that we're going to work with. So normally we'll check our service manual for the particular ignition cars that we're checking. Right, so the service manual will give you the specifications, but you have some general specifications for you. Right, so on a typical ignition coil, so the primary coil, the resistance value should be within the, within the range 0.4 to about 2 ohms. The secondary coil of the ignition coil there it should be in the range of 6,000 to 15,000 ohms or 6 kilo ohms to 15 kilo ohms. Alright, so now we're going to take our ignition coil. So we're going to start with this one here. So I'm going to just going to demonstrate with this one. So the, so the procedures that I'm going to show you here, right, it is going to apply to any ignition coil. This one, that one, any ignition coil that you should come across. Alright, so we're going to identify the primary ignition coil terminals. And if you look closely at our ignition coil here, see we have two terminals here, one here and one here. So these are for our primary terminals, right? This terminal here, this is our secondary ignition coil, right? The secondary coil, right? Terminal, right? So we're going to measure the primary coil first, right? The resistance within the primary ignition coil first. And so we're going to take our multimeter, but, um, we have to set the, the multimeter leads in their proper slots first. So the red connection here it is always placed in your when you're measuring resistance, it should always be placed in the in the voltage slash ohms slash milliamps slot right here. So we place the red lead here whenever we're measuring for voltage and, and resistance. The black lead, right, it is always placed in the common slot, right? within the common slot, so here the common slot on this one, the voltage slash ohm slot, right, milliamp slot on that one here. So we're going to use this meter for the demonstration, right? So we're going to take our ignition coil, so we're going to take our multimeter leads, so let me get the camera position here, right? So we're going to take our leads, so if we should look at our leads here, Alright, so we're going to place one here and one here, right, on the negative and positive terminal of the primary coil. And if we should look at our multimeter reading, right, we are getting a reading of 1.4, 1 1.5 1 1 1 um, ohms, right. So what is that is telling us that we're working by the specifications here that the primary ignition coil right here, the primary section of this ignition coil would be within specifications because when we measure the resistance value we're seeing uh, about 1.5 ohms and the maximum reading that we should get is 2 ohms, right? The maximum reading that we should get is around 2 ohms. So let me show it to you again. So there you have it, about 1.3. Oh, we're now showing 1.2 ohms. So our primary section of the ignition coil is in, is in within specifications. So now we're going to check the secondary, the secondary ignition coil um, resistance, right? 
So our resistance value should be within the range of 6,000 ohms to about 15,000 ohms or 6 kilo ohms to 15 kilo ohms. So now we're going to make the connections like this. So you take one lead, so it doesn't really matter if it is a black or the if it is the, the, the red lead or the black lead. So now we're going to place a black lead on any one of the terminals on the primary section of the ignition coil. We're going to place the other one on the secondary output of the ignition coil. Right? And then now we're going to look at our multimeter. But because we're measuring a high resistance value, right, on the secondary ignition coil, so we need to we need to up our scale on the multimeter. So we're going to put it on the 20 ohm, the 20 kilo ohm scale, right? So there it is on the 20 kilo ohm scale. And if we should look at our multimeter now, we're having a reading of about um, 13, 13.69 kilo ohms, right? So if we are going by the specifications here, right, we can safely say that this ignition coil, the secondary coil of this ignition coil is within specification. And by extension, we can say that this ignition coil is a good ignition coil based on the resistance check that was carried out on this ignition coil. So the procedure that I've just demonstrated here, it is applicable to any ignition coil. So it is applicable to this one, that one, this one over here, any ignition coil that you should come across. So that's it. Thank you for watching.